7 Reasons You Should Not Get a Staffy Staffies are my favorite breed of dog. They're affectionate, playful, and endlessly loyal, but they're not for everyone. Indeed, Staffies are one of the most commonly found breeds in dog shelters. It's not because they're bad dogs, it's because their owners got them for the wrong reasons, or they simply weren't able to cope with them. So in this video, I'm going to tell you seven reasons why you shouldn't get a Staffy, with the hope that this will prevent a loving Staffy ending up in a shelter or worse. I'm not joking. I'm going to try to talk you out of getting a Staffy right now. So here we go. Number one, crazy energy. Staffies are fun, there's no doubt about that. But sometimes you'll want a break and your dog absolutely doesn't. Sure, Staffies sleep a lot, but when they're awake, they want action. Staffies need lots and lots of mental and physical stimulation. Otherwise, they'll cause mischief, as you'll see in the next section. A Staffy is not a good dog to keep in a small space, especially if they're going to be left alone for long periods of time, such as if you need to go to work all day. You need to find a way to really tire out a Staffy at least two or three times a day, and a quick 15-minute walk just won't do it. They need vigorous exercise and playtime, otherwise they'll cause destruction. My Staffy has caused over £1,000 worth of damage to my stuff. She's destroyed my earbuds, eaten books, destroyed every socket I ever leave out, and even chewed through the cables on my new e-scooter on the day it arrived. But it's not just your valuables being destroyed that will cost you with a Staffy. They can also be surprisingly expensive dogs to keep. Admittedly, Staffies don't tend to be the most costly to buy up front, but they are unfortunately prone to sensitive stomachs and skin. That means lots of visits to the vet and you'll have to buy the costly hypoallergenic food to keep their allergies at bay. Oh, and if you want to insure your Staffy, it will cost you more than insuring most other dog breeds too. But don't worry too much, you will be able to save some money, as your dog will eat literally anything you find while out and about. And I mean anything, as long as it's utterly disgusting. Plus, as an added bonus, if it's particularly horrendous, they'll also make sure to roll around in it too. Good news, if you hate having to share the pavement, don't worry, people will happily cross over the road when they see you coming down the street with your Staffy. The tabloid media's relentless fear-mongering about Staffies means that the average Joe blog sees a Staffy as nothing more than a dangerous, child-eating, dog-murdering machine. So don't be surprised if people tend to stay out of your way when they see your pooch. But don't get too excited. If you think a Staffy would make a good guard dog, forget it. While people may stay away from your dog, your Staffy wants nothing more than to run over to their shy new friend, wag their tail relentlessly, jump up on them and lick them insatiably. Hardly the way to scare off your adversaries. And that brings us on to the final reason not to get a Staffy. Licking. Staffies lick, but not like a normal dog. It's like you've been covered head to toe in strawberry cheesecake and they need to get every last drop off you. A Staffy's favorite way to show affection is by licking. Indeed, the only way a Staffy is likely to kill you is by licking you to death. It's relentless, honestly. So, if you don't like being licked, do not buy a Staffy. But if you already love Staffies, consider subscribing and thank you for watching. If you've got a beloved Staffy, make sure you download our four-step training guide on how to safely walk them without a lead. This can make walks so much more enjoyable for both you and your Staffy and enable you to develop an even greater and more trusting bond. Download your free guide by following the link in the description below.